we all know that the two main issues or complaints about work freelancers are connects and scams. If you have more, let me know in the comments. But today I wanted to quickly update you on both of those because I haven't done a video in a while and I think this is important. First things first, let's talk connects. Gotta say, it isn't that easy to get free connects anymore. I know by far my top video this year and ever is how to get free connects on Upwork. It's not that accurate anymore, not my fault. You know, I've made that video in January, February. But anyway, if we come right here to the famous Upwork Connects page, and I'll leave it down below in the description so you can check it out. Please do check it out before you comment that the video is outdated because, again, I have no control over when Upwork changes those things, but that link should be updated. Essentially, they tell us how you can use Connects to let clients know you're wanting to work, to submit a proposal, to boost your proposal, and to turn on the availability badge, which I think it's a waste of time, money, and Connects. They do say that no connects are needed when a client invites you to submit a proposal, which I think over the summer around June time, Upwork made it so you had to spend connects and a shit ton of them to reply to an invitation, which is bonkers. If the client knows they want you, why the fuck are they charging us? I don't know. So yeah, they went back on that. Now it's free to reply to invites and it's also free to accept an offer. So if the client sends you an offer directly, you get accepted for free. Now, careful. <laughs> That's actually the topic of today's scam, which I'll talk about in just a second. But let's see. They have three ways to get connects. They have the typical monthly bonus. This has been around, I think, ever since they implemented Connect back in 2019. What actually prompted me to make this video is I'm starting to see, and I can show you here, I have 41 connects right here. And last month I had 31. Typically every single month, I would get an email at the end of the billing period saying you have 10 connects that are expiring soon because the 10 free connects they give out per month would not stack. But now I have 41, so that leads me to think that potentially they're also going back on that and they are letting you stack connects. Don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely sure, but let's read this. Each month, freelancers may receive connects at no extra cost to help reach out to more clients. Freelancer basic accounts may receive 10 free connects per month. I, I don't like this may receive. We'll get to that. Uh, depending on what offers were available when you signed up, you may only get extra connects after purchasing connects or a freelancer plus membership. So apparently, depending on when you signed up, which is bonkers, again, you didn't know that you were signing up for a lifetime of shittiness because I'm assuming like those who joined in the beginning, like me, don't have this limitation, but then a certain period has, and then I'm assuming from their changes that if you join now, you won't have this limitation. So it's just unfair to see if you get these, go to your connects history. So again, link will be down below. You can click this connects history thing and check out if your account is doomed or not. If it is doomed, I'll make a video in the future about alternatives to Upwork. I have that on the list. I just need to sit down and film it. Uh, they do have a video here. It's 44 seconds. So let's just watch it. <laughs> Freelancers receive free connects monthly. The number of connects you receive depends on your membership plan. If you have a freelancer basic account, you will receive 10 monthly free connects. They were about to explain. Freelancer plus accounts receive a total of 100 connects monthly. You will receive your connects on the first day of your billing cycle. To see when your billing occurs, click on your avatar and then click settings. Select membership and connects. In this section, you can review your current plan, billing cycle, and connects balance. That's the end of the video. No need to see the outro. Then they have buying connects, which are 15 cents each. Still, they haven't changed that lately, so that's good. And like I was saying, I don't advise you to do the paid freelancer plus, I think they call it. I think it's much more useful, valuable, cost effective if you buy them individually. There's no bulk discount, so you can just buy them as you need them. So let's go to this part. They say, to help freelancers succeed on Upwork, we occasionally reward free connects. While we can't share all the details of when connects are given out, we don't want dishonest people to gain the system. 
here's what we can share. When you join Upwork, you may be asked to purchase connects or subscribe to our freelancer plus. Don't do it. If you want to submit proposals, once you choose one, we'll give you a one-time bonus of 50 connects. So I would just honestly purchase the minimum amount to that you in order to get the 50 free. Uh, if you are able to spend just 15 cents and get the 50 free connects, let us know in the comments. I think that would be very useful and I'll make sure to pin your comment. You'll also receive 30 free connects if you earn a rising talent badge. When you win an interview, win an established client on Upwork. They also say if you've submitted a proposal, you may see opportunities to receive a one-time connects bonus by completing educational content about trust and safety. I did get one of these. I got, I believe, eight free connects. No, not much, but whatever. Anything is good. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the scam part of this. I got an offer Sunday for my profile rate and limit 40 hours a week, full time. The job is just listed as campaign. And I think the job description is literally just campaign as well. So it's bogus. And then I said, hey, Martino, what's this about? I already knew it was going to be a scam, but I wanted to see where, where it went. He said, Hello, can you help me create advertising campaigns and manage Facebook? If possible, how many hours a day can you work? And I said, unfortunately, I don't do paid ads, only organic content. And I always try to be as much of a downer as possible. I say, oh, I'm sorry. I guess I can't work with you. But they always turned around. They said, we have not determined the desired revenue by the end of 2022, which has nothing to do with what I just said. Target customers are office workers with high average income. At the beginning of the year, we ran Google ads. So they ignored the fact that I can't do ads. Great. Now I have plans for Facebook and other platforms. Can you help me review my trading strategy? Bunch of nonsense. And I said, again, unfortunately, I don't work with ads. Dude, continues ignoring it. If you agree, I will send you an invitation to join my Facebook business. But before that, I will send you details about my project and a few other small projects as well as the commercial strategy. Can you help me see how good it is? Can you send me your email? And I was like, it's against Upwork's terms of service to talk outside the platform. And please, if ever a client asks you for this, I'll put right here a set template message that I like to send, or you can just say what I just said, simple, quick, and easy. And I usually recommend you say this instead of just completely ignoring the client, because in some cases, the client may just not know any better. They may be new to Upwork and not know the rules. So you can educate them. And then if they keep insisting and keep being a bitch about it, ignore reports, block, whatever. So yeah, I let them know it's against the terms of service. And they said, the email you write should have spaces. So in order for Upwork not to detect it. And I said, yes, but that can get me banned off the platform. Anything you want to send via email, you can send here. And he said, I need an email to send you a detailed survey and choose the right project to start work. And I was like, why don't you send it here? Is it a link? Text, PDF. And he sent it. Again, completely ignoring what I asked. This is my Facebook and website. I need an email to send you a detailed survey and chose the right project to start working on. It's like for one of those shitty PDFs. And by the way, I just now clicked on this. I hope I'm not like screwing myself over. They haven't posted since June 5th. And this may, may very well be a real thing. Let me click on this and risk my computer for the sake of content. If it's a real thing, they severely need help because this website sucks ass. The logo is blurry, the shit, whatever. I'm going to keep replying to him. I may update you if anything's interesting. Okay, editing Sylvia here. I just wanted to give you a little update. This is later on the same day. He had just repeated that the email needs to be in this format for our birth not to detect it. And then he sent this message again, which may seem familiar. It's the same as this, but the Facebook and the website are different. This is for pep jeans. I didn't click on this one because I already clicked earlier. But okay, same shit. I said I'm not allowed to share my email. If he can send the same thing 10 times over, I can do that too. He said, you can accept the offer, which does make it so I could share my email because Upwork lets you share contact details after you have the contract. But he said, you can accept the offer. We just send it via email and with the password. What password? I don't know. I can't post it here for data security reasons. As far as I know, Upwork's 
your show. I don't know. If you don't want to work this way, then I won't force you. We will do the same. Don't waste each other's time. Again, a little bit confusing, but whatever. Uh, and then I said, I just noticed you'd sent two different websites. Lol, which one is it? Because I hadn't noticed that before. I just, okay, copy paste shit. And I said, I just didn't accept it yet because I want to make sure I can do the job as I'm not 100% sure what you need. I mean, I wouldn't accept the job I can do because then that will affect my job success score make it make sense and then he said i have more than six projects to do this week and then he tagged me again for some fucking reason and i said oh gotcha and what do they entail because i've told you i can't do ads and then he said are you currently managing any ads or promoting any products i need screenshot confirmation can you read? I, I don't think you can. And then I said, I've told you I don't offer that service at all. And then you can see this person is restricted from the conversation, which leads me to believe that someone did the job that I took too long to do. <laughs> Sorry. Hope nobody fell for, for this person in the time that I was baiting them. Now I'm starting to feel bad. Oh gosh, but someone probably reported them or Upwork detected some weird shit going on and this person is no longer here. So that's the update. But please, 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 you know, if it's too good to be true, don't do it. If they seem sus, they keep insisting on shit, don't do it. I know you may, if you're new to freelancing, you may be tempted to take the first thing that comes your way because it's tough out there. I understand. I've been there, but it's not worth getting scammed. So trust your guts, be safe, follow for more Upwork tips or freelancing tips in general, honestly, not just Upwork. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video, so go check it out next. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.